Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create an approval rebook website and uh, we'll be giving the files away for free. Also we will be talking why this is super important and how you can prevent your uh, assets from being stolen in the future. Now this is how the website looks, but first let me explain uh, how your funds can get stolen. So let's say you will be using any website to buy any token or swap any token. In this case, let's pretend it's uh, USDT. So uh, like USDT, every single token has this uh, function here. If you have noticed when you're swapping on Uniswap, PinkySwap or any other exchange, you have to approve first or enabled in other cases is called enabled but it is just interface and this is the exact uh, function which means here will be the spenders address and here will be the amount uh, you're approving them to use from your wallet and uh, most of the time this is unlimited they said this even PancakeSwap if you want to sell or buy a hundred uh, USDT uh, uh, mostly when you're selling, uh, you're selling 100 USDT, but you will be approving unlimited amount to PancakeSwap because all they do is they take your USDT and they give you uh, the token you want. But uh, if they want, they can just take your money and give you nothing. And so this is and uh, this is also used on scam websites. Uh, that uh, like uh, fake airdrops, fake NFT minting and other stuff like that. Or even a decent project, uh, uh, if you approve, uh, they can decide to scam in the future and steal everyone's money. So this is the function uh, you approve and they can withdraw later by using this function here. So if you went here and added uh, my address and amount you want to approve i can go then here add your address my address where i want to send the funds the amount i want to take from your wallet and just with one click i will take all your money so uh, this is uh, uh, what this video is about and what you can do to prevent this uh, bsc scan has a, a revoke uh, feature and etherscan has as well but we will be building a website that can do that for us it's more uh, simple and we can use this to uh, offer to our investors or if you have a big project or a website you can use this to offer it as a service it costs nothing it's super easy and works for our networks as you can see here it works for bnb chain ethereum polygon phantom and avalanche so here it must be somewhere here, token approvals, and here we have, it works like this, and yeah, here we have approved, uh, uh, we have approved the, uh, this amount of USDTE to this address, and we have approved this to this address and uh, so on and if we check here we have the same and it's just much easier and has a bit of information it says here we have unlimited approved unlimited amount to pink swap as you can see they always ask for unlimited uh, approval so if pink swap wants they can take all of my tokens same here if this wallet wants they can take all of my tech tokens and I can simply revoke from here. And uh, it says here, give permission to access your tokens. It's same like when you approve, but if you check here, it says zero. So I'm, gi I'm, I'm giving uh, permission to them again to use my tokens, but this time I set it to zero, so they will not be able to, uh, to use my tokens. <coughs> sorry so this is how it works for all of them and uh, 
this is super important. Make sure you uh, you check all your wallets. Uh, you can do by using uh, BSC scan or Ether scan if you are on ETH network, or you can simply use the. I will leave uh, a link on the description where you can get the files for this website, and uh, it's super easy. You don't have to edit anything. You just upload it to your uh, domain, and you will be able to use it. It works perfectly, and it works also for NFTs. So if you have approved NFTs, if you have, if you ever traded NFTs, you need to check your wallet and revoke uh, permission. Uh, same thing for tokens. If you ever used uh, decentralized wallets, you need to check your uh, wallet very often. So here are the files. Before you upload, uh, after you get the files, you can open them on Visual Studio codes, you can edit, add your logo and uh, uh, name and anything else you need, customize it for your project and uh, just get the website done. So this is it guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video, peace.